China's message to the United States, stop inviting us. Despite multiple invitations, Chinese diplomats refused to join the U.S. and Russia in arms control negotiations. The U.S. knows it only too well. Still, it pesters China and even distorts our position. China said it would be happy to join the discussions only if the U.S. reduced its nuclear arsenal to China's level. The State Department took that to welcome China's commitment to negotiate and promised to send the Chinese government another invitation. During a week where the U.S. also levied sanctions on Chinese officials for human rights abuses and floated banning Chinese apps like TikTok in the U.S., there's a push to also confront China through international groups. I think we're starting to see writ large what a future looks like with China at the helm. And that's just not a place I think where most Western countries really want to be. He argues that while imperfect, international institutions should offer the U.S. an opportunity to curb China's activities, violating rules governing the world economy, international fishing regulations, and detaining foreign citizens. Over Beijing's objections, the U.S. has pushed the World Health Organization to include Taiwan in its discussions, given its success in fighting the coronavirus. The administration is now withdrawing from the WHO, though is promising to still try to reform it.